Hi everyone, it's Casey Williams. So I'm sitting home yesterday afternoon. I've got a lot of auto stories to get written. And my husband comes in and says, hey, I just won this console stereo on eBay and I need to drive to Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's about a four hour drive away. And I'm sitting there thinking, boy, I sure would like to go. I got all this work to get done and I just can't. But then I thought to myself, well, we've got the Honda Odyssey minivan sitting in the driveway. It's got everything I need to get my work done on the road and have a comfortable trip too. So let's go have a look at it and see why it's the perfect car for your family and perfect if you've got a little work to do too. Well, let's take a quick walk around the Odyssey and I'll take you inside and show you the cabin and all the things I like in there as well. But you know, the outside, there's really nothing to complain about. It's a nice looking van. It was redesigned for 2018 and I think they did a pretty nice job of it. This is the Elite package, so it's the upscale version of it. LED headlamps, LED fog lamps. And the front looks really sculpted, looks dynamic, looks more like the new Civic and the Accords in the front. And it's pretty sleek too, so I think it looks really good in the front. Come around the side. In you know, the last generation, of course, this new generation has the Z window line. It's become kind of an Odyssey trademark. And I think it really works for it. You know, it kind of breaks up the body sides. It keeps you, keeps you from seeing just a mass of sheet metal and glass. 19 inch alloy wheels. Even some of the lower body sculpting I think looks really good. Just looks kind of fluid and kind of like wind swept. I think it's very nice. I like the window line here as well. It's very sleek, comes around the broken, broken pillar. Come around the back. Again, yeah, I think it's very upscale. Looks almost like an Acura in the back. And this being the Elite package, you've got the chrome piece across here, chrome around the windows, LED tail lamps, power hatch. And there's some neat tricks inside here too. So first of all, seats, seats fold right into the floor. Very easy, this one goes in as well. A deep well when they're not stored. So lots of space back here for luggage. Power outlet, power outlet on this side. And a nice neat little feature, there's a vacuum under here. So if the kids make a mess, if you go to the beach, and you've got sand in the back, you can turn it on, sweep it out, all taken care of. So I think again, I think you got everything you need in here. It's a nice looking van. And let's go inside and take a look. So we got in the car yesterday, we left home and had about a four hour drive ahead of us. And again, I got some writing to get done, I got some work to do, I've got to upload some photos, get you know, get them onto the website. And I'm thinking, well, how am I gonna get this done in the car? Well, one of the really nice things about the Odyssey it does have has a Wi-Fi hotspot in the vehicle. So, you know, again, I thought, yeah, it might might be okay. But I was full uploading, downloading photos off of media sites, you know, putting them on a website. And it all worked out really well. It was fine. I've got a power port right here. I can plug in for the entire drive. No problems there. Sat here in the seats, perfectly comfortable. It was really nice. And the, and the vehicle rode smooth and you know, had a nice, nice console here I can use for a desk. I've got wireless phone charging. Deep space here as well. So everything worked out really well. My daughter's sitting in the back seat. She's got a Blu-ray player, video monitor. She had her wireless headphones on, her own climate controls. So for a three and a half year old, she was a pretty happy camper back there. And my husband drove most of the way. And he also had a pretty easy drive of it too. You know, nice leather wrapped steering wheel. You've got heated and cooled leather seats here. Heated steering wheel. Got the nice digital instrument cluster. I think, you know, really just a pleasant place to be. And some things here, you know, here in the center console where, where I think Honda has done some innovation, very nice. So this is where the gear, gear selector, park, reverse, you pull back, neutral, drive, push in. It's you know, very similar to what they've done here recent Hondas, also Acura uses the system. It's a little annoying to me at first, but I've gotten used to it and it, it actually kind of makes some sense now. They've also redesigned the screens and that was a big complaint with a lot of the Hondas recently where they didn't have knobs, it was everything touch screen. It was just kind of hard to find it and hard to use it on the road. So they've added a volume knob. I wish they would go ahead and add a tuning knob here. You have to tune here or you have to scroll through your stations, kind of like your I iPad but it all works and you can pre-program stuff in. So we've got tri-zone automatic climate control, one for each passenger in the front, one for the back. And then some of the other features we have here that I think is really nice. So navigation, that was handy yesterday. Phone connections, I don't like to have my phone connected. Satellite radios here. You can plug in your, your, your iPod, you've got Bluetooth as well. And like I said, you got wireless, or you got the Wi-Fi hotspot, so you can stream audio, you can stream videos if your kids have a, have a player in the back. And a couple of neat features I also want you to see. Cabin watch system. So there's actually a camera mounted and pointed to the back seat so you can watch your kids. You don't need any mirrors, you can just watch up here if you want. 
There's also buttons called cabin talk. You press that, you've got a microphone for the driver, and it, it, it projects to the back seat. So you can tell the kids, even with their headphones on, you can hear through the headphones, they're getting ready to stop, or tell them to cut it out if they're fighting, or whatever you want to do. So I think it's just some nice features for, for parents if you've got kids on the road. And of course, you know, you have your family in the car, safety is important. And this has a full suite of crash avoidance systems. You've got forward collision warning, you've got forward, coll forward collision mitigation with automatic braking, you've got lane departure warning, lane keep assist. It's even got a system that keeps you from running off the road. It, it'll shake the steering wheel and it kind of nudges it back onto the road. So there's, you know, full suite. You've got adaptive cruise control in the cars. It's very easy if you're on long trips. So again, over, overall, I think it's, it's a comfortable vehicle. It's a nice vehicle to work in. You got a lot of convenience to it, but it's got everything you need to keep your family safe and entertained on long drives. Well, in comparison to all the technology inside the car, Honda kept it pretty simple for the powertrain. But that's not to say it's not pretty advanced too. It's a three and a half liter V6, delivers 280 horsepower, fuel economy is rated 19 miles per gallon in the city, 28 miles per gallon on the highway. But the cool part is that's routed through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's front wheel drive, it's not all wheel drive, and there's no hybrid system. But that's pretty decent fuel economy for what's a very large three row vehicle. Well, with all my work behind me, I took the wheel and drove the van home yesterday. So about four hours on the highway, some city streets too. And what I discovered is, you know, a minivan is not very cool. And I keep saying that. But they are very nice. And you've got a family and you've got a couple of kids, maybe three kids. It's just, there's just nothing better. And for the driver, you know, it drives very nice. It's smooth, plenty of power, the steering's firm, and it just has all the technology at your disposal inside that you could possibly want. So it's just, you know, again, nothing cool about them but they're just absolutely perfect vehicles if you've got family and long distances to cover. So let's talk about pricing. The vehicle starts at $29,990. This one has equipped $47,610. And that's right there with Chrysler, Toyota, and Kia with their minivans as well. And even better than that, we've driven any number of, you know, kind of mid-grade luxury sedans that are in that price range. And this drives every bit as nice as those, has all the features those vehicles have, and has all the more space, you know, to, to, to get your family in it and with all the technology this has on top of what you'd expect. You've got video screens, you've got Wi-Fi, you've just got plenty of space and everything you need. So I think all in, I think that's just a very good value. Well, next week we'll have another fun car, and until then, storm forward.